Welcome back to another episode of Miller's Menu here on YouTube. I'm Rusty and today we're going to be making tachos on the griddle. So tachos are fairly new. They're tater tots and nachos and you can make them a thousand different ways but today we're going to make it my favorite way with chicken, bacon, and ranch. Cheese and that's it. So pretty easy video. Let's get into the ingredients. All right, here are our ingredients today. We have the tater tots, the star of the show. We have some chicken, just pre-cut, pre-cooked kind of uh, chicken. You can make your own, but today is about kind of making an easy video. So not cooking my own chicken, not cutting it up. Oh, I cut this up a little bit smaller, but bacon, ranch, and cheese. That's it. Oh, and you gotta have my friend the butter. Look at that glisten. Oh, baby. That's the ingredients. Let's get cooking. We're getting ready to make the cook. Hannah's gonna help me. It's her birthday, last Wednesday. Today's her dinner here at the house. So she wanted to help me make it. The tater tots are frozen. So what we're gonna do is turn these two burners all the way down to low. We're gonna get them started, getting them thawed. Just gonna throw them right on the griddle, move them around a little bit. Once they start cooking, we'll turn up the heat, put some butter on it, make them crispy. While those are starting to thaw, we're gonna cook our bacon, chop it up. Our chicken is already cooked, so we're just gonna throw it on there, warm it up, chop it up with the bacon in a little bit. Throw it on top of the tater tots when they're done with some cheese, some ranch, and has some glorious food. All right, dump these on there and get them all spread out. Stay on your side. Here, you want a spatula? So you don't burn yourself. It's not that hot. I did it. Ready? Oh, I'm getting bacon grease everywhere. Here, take it. Fresh. Fresh You've seen me cook bacon a thousand times, so I'm not really going to go over it. And quite frankly, if you don't know how to cook bacon on your Blackstone, what are you even doing? <laughs> All right, you're just going to shake these around. They're still obviously thawed, or frozen. You're going to feel them when they start getting thawed out and ready to start cooking. You just don't want them all to cook on the same side while they're thawing out. So every once in a while, just give them a stir, get them all tossed around. All right, and while we're cooking the bacon, we're going to make it then a little extra crispy today because we're gonna chop it up. So the chewy bacon won't work. So we're gonna make all of it pretty, pretty crispy today. Okay, so the bacon just got done. The tots are thawed and ready to start cooking. So I just scraped this side of the griddle and then I'm gonna put some butter down, move the tots over that, put the chicken on the side that the tots were on and then start uh, cooking that. Again, just make sure you're all flattened out here. And we're gonna give them a toss, letting them cook up on this side. So this chicken is pre-cut into slips. This ch this chicken is pre-cut into slices and we're just gonna throw them on here pre-cooked. Like I said, you could cook your own chicken breast and dice it all up and everything. Sometimes you just want a, a fairly quick and painless meal. So that's what we're doing today. 
All right. So we're just going to move this around, get it all warm, thawed out. Then we'll cut it up, put the bacon on it, cut it up. Let's slide these around. Oh, almost lost one. Look at that overhead shot. These are starting to crisp up. They're looking awesome. I think I'm actually going to just take the the picture and everything right here on the blackstone and just make it right here and serve it up on the, our plate for dinner. So change of plans, Hannah. Will you go get um, four plates for us? The what? No, nah, they don't need to be. Uh, they can be. We'll just eat off those tonight. A little bit of oil. This chicken's a little dry. Don't want it to dry out anymore. Pots are done. I'm going to turn this side of the grill completely off. Okay, we're going to square these up. I busted a couple, but it's okay. Okay, I'm going to square them all up so they're in nice shape. The chicken's done. We're going to cut it up with the bacon. So throw the bacon back on. hydrate and we're just going to chop Chicken and bacon is done. The tots have some cheese on it. They're melting. So we're just going to take this, sprinkle it right over the top. Make sure we get it in every bite. All right. Only one thing left to do. Two things, put ranch on it and then try it. Let's go. And put cheese on it. Oh yeah, more cheese. More cheese. <laughs> All right. You know what I think I'll go. Uh -huh. More cheese. A little bit of ranch. All right. I think this is gonna be extremely hot. Yeah, grab that plate. All right, we're gonna try this without a fork. So just grab some chicken and some bacon. Ooh, it's warm. You were right. It's so All right, ready? Oh. Come on. <laughs> you been in your mouth? <laughs> this is so good. It is warm, but the chicken, bacon, and ranch go together so well. These tater tots are so crispy on here, the way we did it. They're so good. You can eat those. All right. We're going to get a couple pictures of this. We're going to plate it up, and the family's going to eat. Happy birthday, kiddo. Hi. I love you. <laughs> Thank you for watching another episode of Miller's Menu right here on YouTube. This is Hannah. I'm Rusty. And until next time... Spend time with your family and eat. Let's go. We're out. I can't cook like this. Hold on, let me just get changed. All right. What? Wait, wait. All right. <laughs>
Gun Show.